Hello everybody, this is Chris and this tutorial is going to be on the Quill Builder which in Laravel 3.2 and earlier versions of Laravel was called Fluent. Uh, if you look here, we're still using a lot of SQL. So, we're just going to get rid of this. and start anew. So we're just going to comment this out real quick. That's actually what we're going to do. So we're just going to comment it out and start fresh. So we're just going to say route because we're just going to add this on to it. So just, just going to go over some things here with fluent. I'm still gonna call it fluent. I really don't care. That's what uh it was in level 3.2. They're not calling it fluent now, but whatever. So if you remember the last tutorial we did db select and then ran a SQL query. A regular SQL query. Now we can just say db table and we pass in the table name so we're going to pass in the table name which is going to be employees and then we're just going to get and then if we throw this into an, uh, an array so put it into a variable actually and we just say user equals and then not return. We'll bar dump it. Bar dump user. We're going to get the same thing that we got last time. So we go in, refresh it. I'm not going to do that. We just hit enter. And there we go. We get all the users. So what if we wanted to do something like a where clause? So that would simply be where let's do the same thing we did last time let's uh... let's do country so country and we could either do this and this united kingdom right save that go out refresh and here's our four employees that are from the United Kingdom or we could simply just take out the equal sign and just pass in those two values it does the same thing you get the same result so whether or not you use the equal sign is up to you so you can all use all the operators that SQL operators so where you can say where ID is less than let's see where ID is let's see less than let's say less than four and we'll save that we we'll go in refresh and I must have did something wrong there's no comma I'm so stupid sometimes I'm still on here let's get rid of that refresh it and these are all the ones with an ID less than three less than three so that's your basic where clause so we can say <coughs> so what if we want to get a little bit more exact let's do or where let me throw this in here first or where is everything now that used to be uh, it used to be this in Laravel 3 so it or where but uh, everything in Laravel 4 is now camel case so you have or where and let's just say let's see if we have anyone with an ID less than 5 
or where their country equals United Kingdom. Let's see what we get for that. And once you learn, once you start learning this, it's really pretty fun just to mess around with it and see what you get. And I guess all these people. Well, no, one's from there. Only one of them. Oh, it's pulling both. So we also limit this. So it was ID less than five, or where the country was the United Kingdom. So if you notice, the ones with the United Kingdom and the ones from the United States are all here. So if it was less than five, you have that, and then you have the other two, which are in the United Kingdom. There's actually three. So we go back in. And let's, uh, what I want to do now, let's, uh, you can also do stuff like uh, where between. Say you, you just wanted to pull users between ID number something and something. So we're going to say where between, and we're just going to give it the field, which is going to be ID. And we're going to throw an array. And we're just going to say between the IDs of 5, mm, actually let's go low number 3 and 5. And we're going to say get, of course, because we need to get it. Return that. And these if you look at the IDs, three, four, five, and that's what we're expecting to get. So we have that. We could also do we could get the employees and say order by. Let's look at the fields here. What fields do we have? Fields, 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 employees. Since we're using that table, we have last name and first name. So let's let's order these by last name ascending, shall we? So I'm going to say last name and ascending, and we're going to get them. Refresh, and now we have it in the ascending order. Let's uh, let's make this a little bit more readable, readable, shall we? So, if we just take this and cut and just throw a for, just throw a leap, uh, throw it in a loop. So we'll say for each user as you okay and then throw this back in changes to you and then we just um, we'll just throw out the last name so we'll get you know bar dump users the last names so save that go back out refresh it and there we have all the last names in ascending order pretty cool huh So what else can we do? We can we can do select. So if we just wanted to select, uh, I don't know. Let's uh, see what this does. So we just say select. Let's look at first name and get and see what we get. I mean, once you become familiar with Fluent, it's really fun to mess with it. With. So uh, I don't even know what this is going to return. Actually, let's see. I'm thinking it's going to return all the first names. So let's bar dump it and find out. The more you play with this Laravel, the easier it gets. So let's see what this does. If it throws an error, no, it doesn't. So it return all nine values and return just the first names. So you can select that. 
So let's combine this. Let's select. Uh, let's grab something else. Let's grab. Uh, let's grab what country they're from. So we get here. Turn it, and it's going to give us first name and country. So Nancy's from the United States. Uh, so, mm -hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so there's a lot that you can do just with Fluent, and you really don't need to use. There's we haven't even touched on models yet. So let's uh let's see what we can do with our app here. Let's go ahead and get rid of these uh, comments here, and we're just going to say. Instead of using this thing right here, let's get rid of this. Let's do something better. Let's use Fluent. So DB table is uh, tests, I believe. I believe it was. I believe it was. It was test single. Test. And we're just going to insert. I'm going to insert an array, right? That array is going to be input f name. Before I make the same mistake I did last time, input f name and input last name. And you don't have to worry about SQL. Injection because this is, is still run a PD on the PDO layer, and that's already uh, protecting you from SQL injection. So, this DB table test insert array input first name looks good. Input last name looks good. Let's uh, let's see if this works. So if we refresh this here. And we do Darth Vader and add his name. Woo, we got an error here. No bindings, huh? Well, let's see how we can fix that. I know why, because I messed up. So, before you put this array here, you need to actually make it an array. So, we're going to do this. So, we're going to say if name is input f name and last name I should have known it was going to be this anyways so input l name so that should be that go in refresh this cancel we'll go back refresh let's do this again Darth Vader, add name, and there we go. Let's look into our database here and see what happened. Did it put him in there? And yes, it did. So that was my mistake, I'm, and I apologize for that. Let's let's do a little bit more here. Let's. I'm not feeling too good about that form. So let's uh let's do something with that. Let's go ahead and change this whole thing around. Let's. Index thing. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more into it here. Actually, I'm going to end it right here, and then in the next video, we'll create our app using, finish up this app using uh, just the Fluent Query Builder. All right. So stay tuned for the next tutorial.